Most business data includes a time-based value that indicates when an event occurred. In this movie, I will show you how to filter a pivot table using a timeline, which makes the filter you've applied more visual. My sample file is timeline0310, and you can find it in the Chapter 3 folder of your Exercise Files collection. This workbook contains a pivot table on Sheet 1, and there you see I have total sales broken down by category for all values in my data set. And if you look over at the Pivot Table Fields task pane, and if you don't see that, click any cell in the pivot table, go to Analyze, and make sure that the Field List button is selected. You'll see in the field list that I have a date of purchase field, and I could use that to create date-based filters. However, I don't want to change the structure of my pivot table. For example, I might be presenting to a business organization, and I want to limit the data that I show. In that case, it is better to create a timeline rather than to clutter up my display. To create a timeline, to filter a pivot table, click any cell in the pivot table, and then on the Analyze tab, click the Insert Timeline button. Doing so displays the Insert Timelines dialog box, and it contains a list of all of the fields that Excel identifies as having date values or time values. In this case, there's only one, Date of Purchase, so I will select that and click OK. And when I do, Excel adds a timeline based on Date of Purchase. So I will drag that over to the side, and there we go. You can see this is a visual interpretation or representation of the time in your data set. And you can see that it goes forward from 2018 all the way to December of 2018. And if I were to drag the horizontal slider back, you'll see that it goes to January 2017. So basically, I have two years of data from January 2017 to January 2018. If I want to summarize data for a particular month, I can just click it. For example, I'm currently in the 2017 range, so I will click May, and I have sales for May for my different categories. Also note that in May of 2017, I had no sales for grid tie inverters, so one of my categories is missing. If you want to extend your selection, you can do that in a number of ways. In this case, let's say that I want to see all of my sales for April to June of 2017 using my timeline. I will move my mouse pointer over the edge of the indicator within the timeline, and you can see that the mouse pointer changes to a double arrow horizontal bar or pointer. And if I click and drag to the left, I extend the selection to April, and if I click and drag to the right, it extends it to June. And of course, if I drag I can decrease the range as well. And if I click an individual month, such as January of 2017, then I get my sales for that month only. You can change the scope of your timeline. So rather than looking at months, if you click the down arrow, you see that you can break it down by years, quarters, months, or days, with months being the default. If you want to break it down by quarters, click quarters, and you see you get quarter one through quarter four 2017, followed by quarter one through quarter four 2018. If you want to see the values for quarter four of 2017 and quarter one of 2018, click either of them and then drag to increase the selection. One thing about timelines is that they don't work well for days. So if you click the time control and then click days, you'll see that you have a lot of days. So if you're looking for a specific range of days and it's only a few days, then you can probably be fine. But for many cases, if you're looking at more than a week or two, then I'd rather go with the month. Finally, if you want to clear the filter within the timeline, click the Clear Filter button. You can also change the timeline's formatting. While it's selected, go to the Options Contextual tab, and you'll see that you have a number of options, including changing its size and also its design. When you're done with the timeline, you can right-click its title bar and click Remove Timeline, and you're done. Timelines offer a visual filtering alternative to what you find in the usual filtering tools. If your pivot table includes time-based data, timelines can help you get your message across.